Hello and welcome back. Today is another day of homemaking. I have several things on my to-do list. Most of it will be tidying up to get the house back in order. This is something I love doing and find very satisfying. As I clean the lunch dishes, I am reflecting on days when doing these same things over and over began to feel repetitive, mundane, and on bad days, even burdensome. Most of you know that I work from home and spend my days homemaking and caring for my daughter. Being a fulfilled homemaker has nothing to do with whether you work another position outside of your home or are a full-time homemaker. I have had it both ways. When you work, you might feel the house is a burden to care for after a long day, and when you are home every day, it can feel boring and unfulfilling after a while. I'm not free from feeling these things, however, I have learned how to avoid them by using some simple methods that help me be more aware. I still have tough days where I'm uninspired or overwhelmed, but they are fewer and further between. I hope some of these simple steps that I have to share with you help you become more fulfilled with being a homemaker. No task you do while feeling burdened will ever be satisfying, and the same thing goes from when we are bored and disengaged from our work. So it might be very obvious that it all starts with our mindset. We are what we tell ourselves. Let me be clear on this. If I declare that I am tired of something each time I do it, I will probably feel that same feeling whenever I am met with it again. Becoming mindful of what we declare to ourselves and remembering that words have power. So check your thoughts throughout the day. Ensure you are not feeding your mind negative things around the tasks that you are doing. If you feel overwhelmed, begin writing down what you are grateful for. Remind yourself of your purpose. This works especially well when you pause for a moment and look around at the home you created. Many times we are so much in our minds that we forget to observe the good things around us that are the direct result of our work within the home. It is hard to be fulfilled by something when we don't feel we are necessarily great at it. A good place to start is by polishing up on your homemaking skills. Homemaking is a position that allows for continual growth. When you decide to be a lifelong learner, there is never room for boredom because there is always something new on the horizon. Consider areas that you struggle with most. Begin developing skills in these areas that help you be better at them thus helping you become that much more satisfied in your homemaking. Even if it's something as basic as laundry that you struggle with, start there. Create a new habit around laundry that you can enjoy while doing it. I love audiobooks to enjoy while folding the laundry or watching a favorite YouTuber on my phone as I go. When the weather is nice, hang a line outside and enjoy nature while you work. The point is, it might help you to find joy in an area that you struggle in, in order for you to get better at it. We get very stuck in roles within our thinking, and it is very easy to feel burdened or unimportant as a homemaker, especially for full-time homemakers. Looking back, I clearly realized that in those times I didn't see a homemaker as a career. I saw it as less than the women standing next to me that had a 9-to-5 job. This is silly, of course, but it was that way of thinking that tainted my mind. Being a homemaker and mother is my first priority over any job I do currently. It is my first priority on the list. And my career, my true career. So to make it so for yourself, begin thinking about how you would be at a 9 to 5 if you had one. Or if you have one now, how are you there? Do you or would you come in prepared? Of course you would. And the same goes for homemaking. Being prepared means being dressed appropriately for work with a start time, knowing what needs to be done, and being willing and ready to tackle the day's tasks. It is when we see ourselves in a career frame of mind that we feel more valued and have a desire to do it well. So take pride in your homemaking. It is a valued role that takes learning, growing, hard work, and adaptability. If you are feeling unfulfilled or burned out, 
go for small wins, something that gives instant gratification to you. Homemaking is a long game in many senses, especially if you have children. It might take years of work to see the true treasures of it. Finding little things that you can accomplish in a day will make you feel more satisfied. And they could be things as easy as picking a small area of your home to declutter like a kitchen drawer or a small closet, or you start using a tablecloth to dress up the table and make the table look beautiful. Create a small seating area on your porch to sit and have tea, or try a new recipe that you know your family will love. The point in all of these small gestures is that they make everyday life a little bit more interesting. And at the same time, they make us feel good. I cannot tell you enough how truly valuable other women are. Older women especially are absolute gems that we can all glean from. They have been through it all and have so much wisdom to share. So seek out other women, especially if they are in different seasons than you. Having a friend with an older child or someone who has been homemaking a little longer has so much value to impart. Whether that be a woman from church or an activity your children are in, seek them out if possible. And if you are too shy, there is always Sally Clarkson's podcast, Life with Sally, which I will link for you in the description box below. Sally is a woman who continues to make me smile with her wisdom, her love of homemaking, and her biblical encouragement. So there is always that as a resource for you as well. Sally Clarkson writes, A woman is a conductor who leads the orchestra of her surroundings in the song and music of her life. God is a God of creativity and dimension, and so he is pleased when we co-create beauty in our own realm, through the power of his spirit. It was a profound realization when I understood that I could become an artist with my very life.
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you find these tips helpful in helping you be more fulfilled in your homemaking. To read more on this, you can find the entire blog post in the description box below. Have a wonderful week ahead, and I will see you on the next one.